Damon helps college students take the next steps. He's taught Leadership Academy in, in uh, Buffalo, New York for five years, and this is really cool. David has been selected to be the keynote speaker this fall for the Western New York Student Leadership Conference. Please welcome David Shaw. Hey guys. Am I on? Alright, you hear me? Yeah. I'm loud pretty anyways. Hey guys, you see what My name is Dave Shaw. I'm going to help college students take their next steps in their college career and beyond. And it's okay if you guys, I'm just going to take it to the next level the next 10 minutes. Whether it's eating a buffet, you know, or speaking to college students. I just want to empty the tank and give everything I have, every opportunity, and just empty the tank. So it's okay with you guys if I just like rock and roll for the next 10 minutes? Yeah. Is that cool with you guys? Is it okay with you guys? Yeah. All right, awesome. So if you've never gotten your ass kicked by a talk, get ready. You're gonna be leaving your limping and bruised. Hope you have health concerns. Uh, where's my slides? This is awkward. All right, sweet. All right, the first thing I want to talk about is destiny. And sometimes you hear a word like destiny and you're like, well, oh, I don't know what mine is. But sometimes you feel like you know what it is, but like it changes like from semester to semester. Anybody feel like that before? Like, I got it, I know I feel like it is now. And I want you guys know that's actually normal and that's actually cool and that's actually okay. Because a destiny isn't a destination. Your destiny is actually, um, it's a way of life. And in a way, we're not trying to find tomorrow. We're actually walking in freedom in here today. And taking next steps is finding your destiny, putting one next step at a time. Does that make sense to you guys here? So if you know where you are, you know where you want to go, you're actually in good company. In fact, join the club. Because your destiny is literally just taking one next step every single day and becoming who you are and what you're created to do and using your gifts to, to, to uh, better this world. So you're right, Dave, what's the next step? Well, this is the next step. The next step is when you make a decision to move forward with something that's going to bring you to greater freedom and purpose. So you're like, Dave, well, why should we take next steps? We take next steps to bring ourselves into greater freedom and purpose. And I believe there's a huge difference between being set free and living free. And I feel like a lot of college students, because I've actually interviewed over 8,000 college students in five years in Buffalo, because so I've met a lot of college students, I feel like a lot of them get distracted pretty easily. And what you can relate to that, you get derailed, distracted pretty easy. But when we're taking next steps, we're actually focused on what we're doing versus taking what life has at us, which usually isn't very much, right? We can get derailed, kind of off the road, uh, kind of get derailed very easily. So as a college student, we must be intentional with what we're doing and taking next steps, because it brings us into greater freedom ourselves. In a way, when we're taking next Next steps. We're actually becoming, we're actually getting to know more of ourselves, who we are, and what we're created to do. Because again, you guys, each one of you, have a purpose that I can fulfill. You have a gift that I don't have. And you have, again, the divine purpose that only the impact this world that only you can do and be such a waste or a sad if you don't do that. So it actually brings more freedom to use. So we take next steps so others can take theirs. So that's the second reason why we take next steps. In a way, when we're taking next steps, we're actually creating space for others to do so. In fact, I have a shirt yesterday that said, next step leaders, which means we take next steps so others can take theirs. In a way, we're creating more space so others can do that. In fact, my favorite saying of leadership of all time is, you teach what you know, but you reproduce who you are. You teach who you know, or you teach what you know, but you read it as who you are. Because talk is cheap. I just being sick of like being preached at, do this and do that. Why don't you do that? Right? So my point is that if you want to, you want to be a next step leader, show them, don't just talk. In fact, I, one of another of my favorite sayings is, I came what you're saying because your action, actions are speaking too loud. So in a way, we take next steps so others can do those. In fact, if you're leading and you put nobody's following, it's probably because you're not taking a next step. Show them how it's done. So we do that so we can create freedom in other people's lives. My next step is coming here, by the way. And kind of like Del Suggs said, by the way, I'm his biggest fan. I'm 6'7", so I highly doubt you got me because I'm literally his biggest fan. So, um, so anyways, my next step was coming here because I taught Leadership Academy for five years in Buffalo, New York. I did it, and I actually ran an office for a multi-million dollar international marketing company. At 23 years of, uh, I did it. I started at 23 years of age, started making six figures, bought a house, vacation, you need a place in the world. I've practically been there. But you know what? Just like a lot of you guys, I always want more life. Don't you, guys, don't you guys always feel like there's always a next step to take? Mine was here. So I'm like, all right, I feel like I conquered Buffalo, and now it's time for the world. So I'm actually here to take a next step. So if, if it's okay with you guys, can we just celebrate that I'm taking a next step right now? In this moment right now? Because I'm not doing this for my turn. I'm here to do, to, 
to actually impact you guys. And then I feel like that when you're taking next steps, that we get a chance to celebrate, whether it's the booth, getting a picture with like the next step sign. And I believe that when you take your next step, the bigger and better things are going to happen for you. And that's why we do that. So that my next step was there. So three tips for taking next steps. You have any paper and pen or maybe a notepad? Take some notes. Uh, so three tips for taking next steps. Number one. You guys ready for number one? All right, I feel like you should run down the aisle or something. Okay, well, I'm not going to do that. All right, so I look like a baby giraffe when I'm running, okay? So, all right, so number one, we don't, the number one tip is don't let other people's apathy stop you from doing what you've been called to do. How many times do student athletes don't you know, play that sport because they're afraid or someone's told they're not good enough? How many times did a, a student not join that club because they're afraid of what people are going to think or maybe somebody made fun of them? How many times does a student not pursue that passion they know in their heart because maybe their parent or someone told that's not the field to be in right now? Let me tell you something, and I want you to get this to your head. We don't take advice from apathetic people because we don't want to get to where they're going. We don't take advice from apathetic people because we don't want to get to where they're going. I mean, if I listened to the apathy of others, I wouldn't be here today. Some of you guys don't like know my story, some of you don't. But I was arrested five times before I was 20. Okay, and I actually uh, got kicked out of college at a .86 GPA, so I would say it was a pretty much a lost cause at age 20 if you, if you say that. But if I were to listen to those people, I wouldn't be here today. So don't let ap people's apathy stop you from doing what you've been called to do. Number two is passion. And I'm a Buffalo Bills fan. I'm from Buffalo, New York, by the way. Anybody here a Buffalo Bills fan? I didn't think so, okay? So we haven't made the playoffs in 17 years. In fact, if you want to watch our last playoff game, you need a VHS player. Okay? So I've been watching them lose week in, week out. I never miss a game, okay? But you know why? Because I have passion for them. I'll watch them every single time. Same thing as in college. Sometimes you're gonna like not gonna be where you wanna be. Sometimes 17 years in this case, okay? But you're not gonna be where you wanna be, but you have passion and energy to pursue that. You're taking your next step because you're so excited, you know in your heart that's what you're supposed to do. That's why we need passion. Number three, what are you empowered to do here today? So by the way, this actually, I was taking the next step just a couple days ago where I was, uh, I flew into the wrong airport, okay? So I flew into the wrong airport and I'm like, crap, I don't know what to do. I'm like two hours away. So I'm like, well, what am I empowered to do? Well, you know what? I was empowered to get a rent a car and drive my butt over here, okay? I'm like, this is going to be such a cool story to tell the students that you don't need perfect to be a leader, but you can be empowered to be a leader in that moment, even when things aren't going right. And things are going to go wrong in the semester. Can you guys agree with that sometimes? But sometimes you're waiting for a perfect moment, but how often is there a perfect moment? Right? Sometimes you're, I'm just waiting for a sign. Here's your sign. Okay? There you guys go. All right. So, what is your next step? So, you guys have taken some incredible next steps. I've been collecting the last couple days here, guys. So, when people, if your next step is like, I need to put my resume together so I can apply to be an intern or an RA. Maybe it's getting a gym buddy. By the way, going to the gym is not a next step. That's a goal. What next step do you have to do to go to the gym? What next step do you have to do to make sure you graduate from college? You know, it gets a goal, but it's not a next step. So what specific next step do you have? You guys have these on your seats, by the way. So if you haven't filled it up yet, if you've been thinking about it, maybe this is your time to take your next step. Someone will literally put last, like, I'm coming out and I'm accepting myself. Okay, so maybe the next step is like something you're really afraid to do, but you know in your heart you should do it. So what's your next step? Again, we don't take next steps to become someone. We take next steps because we are someone. You get to do significant things in this world because you really are significant, not to become significant. There's a difference. You're working from victory, not for victory. Does that make sense to you guys? Mm -hmm. So I think this year, so I've actually, if you guys want to come in a booth, take a picture with that, come on down. It makes it really nice. But hashtag next steps, right? Hashtag Dave's really tall. Hashtag Bill's win. Okay. <laughs> All right. So I don't want to end it with this. How much time? All right, sweet. So I'm pretty energetic. Can you guys stop? No coffee needed? All right, so I just want to sit down and chill for a second and just have a kitchen table conversation with you. Is that okay with you? It's a good one, by the way. It's not like you're in trouble and you're in And guys, you know, I know it's been a long couple days. I know you guys have like Sam's, you got activities to plan, you have relationships, you have so much going on in your life. And I just want to sit here and just encourage you guys where you are. You didn't have to be here. You could be in your room right now watching cartoons for all you care. You could be somewhere in the back hanging out with friends. But you guys are here. And I just want to thank you so much for being here because you guys are taking next steps right now. You guys are going to change the world literally one next step at a time. I don't want anything from you. I want everything for you. And today's going to be that day, man, for you guys. I really feel it. And some people in this room are going to be really serious about this. And I'm just so excited that for you. Whether I come to your college or not, it doesn't really matter to me. I'm so excited to impact you guys here today. So how can you use me? Freshman orientations, I've done those. I've done a lot of leadership. 
And because the next stuff can do a lot of different things. Boy, I did a lot of mid-semester speaking, some athletic group speaking. Um, I don't play basketball, so let's just get that question out of the way, okay? Hopscotch, miniature golf are my two hobbies, okay? So guys, I just want to end it the same way I started here, guys. I just want to empty the tank. I want to get somebody into my life, like, you know what? I gave everything I got. I took my next step. That one next step at a time. I just want to impact as many people as I am, as I can. So that's why I'm here. So help me empty the tank. Help me take my next step so I can help your college students take their next steps. Thank you. Come on, y'all. You have a great job. What a great story. Take the next step. Take the next step.